Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's still Klon time. We are wearing the same things as we did because it's the same night, but it's a different day for you. You need to move your chair over. We are like not remotely even in this shot. Hi! We are wearing the same clothes. We have been wearing the same clothes for a week. I have not showered. It's horrendous in here. Please it, let us out. It smells like that diaper that I talked about last week filled with broccoli. It smells exactly like butt machine in here. <laughs> exactly. It, it's, like, it's like that petal pooped all over all of the things and it happens to be emanating from my armpits. If you can't tell, we're still filming Klon stuff and it's now way too late. Rich is humoring us. Uh, because we, we wanted to do one other thing while we have a real clone in the room. Obviously, we, we had some clones that we carry and some that we don't. Uh, w last week, we really enjoyed going through some of the ones that we don't typically uh, carry, um, except for the butt clone. <laughs> no one should carry it, not even Wish.com. No, I mean, it's <laughs> like, I, I have lots of like terrible Wish jokes. You know, like... The genie botched this one. Yeah, like... Yeah. Just a lot of things like that. I know it's like mythical and a wish and stuff, but I can't connect those things together. It's too depressing. Yes. So, what we've decided to do is to show you some of the pedals we actually sell. Yeah. And how we can tweak them out to sound like the clone sound. Now, I know this is a very... The, the clone sound has a very wide opinion as to what it is. Is it a lower gain, clean boost? Is it a higher gain? When I think about a Klon, uh, I don't think John Mayer. I think, no. believe it or not, Mark Tremonti. Yeah, yes. The, yeah, the so. Klon, the Klon is most distinct in its high gain self and in how dynamic it can be at high gain. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things that I think the Klon has always done, and I will be a Klon, a Klon, a Klon apologist now, is it gives you the ability to roll back your volume knob and still maintain tone, um, and then like roll it up to to push all that gain back over. It's very touch sensitive, and that is the thing that everybody really loves about the Klon is that it does respond really well to how you play and to how hard you are playing. So today's mission, it's the same day, but not for you. It's a different day. If we're here much longer, we won't be here much longer to where it's like the next day. The goal today is to dial in what we believe is the Klon sound that we know and love Mm -hmm. and then use what is in stock here routinely at Third Rock to match that tone. We're not doing everything at noon. We're not trying to feel if the heart is correct. Can we dial a pedal to do the full range we expect if we're sitting down with an original circuit clon? Yeah. So, uh, as I said before, I think it's, I always think of like something that's a little higher gain. Um, so that's kind of where I'm gonna start. <laughs> It's so filthy. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we'll we'll and hit it here with single coils. Just, uh, and I, I'm gonna do. He's gonna do a dynamic. It's gonna little. But this is what I clone. This is exactly what I do. My volume knob barely comes up. I think we're rolling like one knuckle of the pinky. And, uh. So here's what I've, so we're wearing shirts that say, what is a clon? What is a clon? My answer to that, it's a verb. Does it clon or not? Do you clon? Do you even clon, bro? Yeah, do you clon? Like, ride that dragon. Clon. <laughs> clon on and relax or. Clon on, clon on. <laughs> clon until your dreams come true. 
so sure. we, we have, we will not change anything about the guitars. Yeah. I like the Klon for light breakup that if I really dig, it screams. And he's full bore, humbucker in. Yeah. So we are not changing anything on the Klon. We are not changing anything on the guitars. We are now going to chase that tone across these four pedals. It's time for everybody's favorite part. The action cam. iPhone on a stick. <laughs> That's why it's everybody's favorite part. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are going to start our Klon chasing. I want to say Klon Venture. We're going to start with the sugar. Klon Capade. Klon Capade. The Klontlet Part 2. Part 2. Klontlet Part 2. All right, we're going to start with the sugar drive. Yep. Uh, which which was a d absolute dark horse. Sleeper. It's not, uh, even, it's uh, not even silver. I just it's like... It's not even gold. Uh, to quote Clark W. Griswold, I would have not been more surprised if I had woken up with my head sewed to the carpet. <laughs> I can't even tell you which Christmas vacation or vacation film it was That's from. That's a Christmas vacation. Nailed Christmas, it. Yeah, see? All right. I could. All right. So we're going to start with the sugar drive. And we're, we're at noon, but we're going to chase. So hit me with some claw on here. It's gone. It's on. Hit me with it, though. Let me hear it. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So now. Gain and a little bit of trouble. Okay. Give it a shot. Treble out. Treble up. There's, yeah. There's a depth that's missing. There's and some, there's some clean low mid. Yeah. Some clean bass and some clean low mid. The sugar drive isn't quite reaching down there. However, I would like to tell you the dirty little secret that nobody who runs the mixing board tells you. We high pass all of your guitar tone. We take everything from like 90 to 120 hertz and we're sucking it straight out of the tone anyway. So it's actually not that big of a deal because this stuff gets cut out in the mix live. It gets cut out in the mix on a record. Yep. And, and if, if you, you don't know how a, how a high or low pass filter works, listen to dubstep. Yeah. It's that stuff. Like when the drum, when you're like the drums sound all like they're in the other room. <gasps> they sound like they're getting closer. Oh my, they're closer. Oh, oh bass, bro. <laughs> Heads explode. You damn kids. Yep. That's dubstep in a nutshell. Basically. Welcome to music history. Uh, so the sugar drive is not hitting the bass, but it's got all of the. the yeah, it has all the sparkle. Um, I, I just think I, the depth is missing a little but bit. But does it? Does it anti-gent? What happens when we put it through the single coil and we will go, big dynamic boy? Nothing. time. So I think if I played with the drive and really, really, really messed with the sugar drive, I could get that closer. I have a little bit more dynamic range in the real Klon. 
However, it's not as pleasant in the low gain as the sugar drive is. The sugar drive is a little sweeter as I back off my dynamics. Sweet. It's got a little bit more of that sugar in there. So it's funny. I kind of prefer the sugar drive for backing off a little bit. It's a little more sweet tea. It's a little more southern. <laughs> a little more southern, yes. Yeah. Sugar drive does good. Yeah. And I you like don't it. have to you don't have to move far off noon to catch no, up. No, you don't. Wow. All right. Time for the soul food, which just blew me away last time, even though my ears are broken. Yep. That's what metal will do to you, kids. China symbols, man. They're not if you... That's what that's what I, and and see for me, it's a lifetime of in ear monitors. So yep, there you go, kids. I can still hear really well. <laughs> Travel. Yeah. I can tell a difference back to back, but can you? Like, I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> if we blindfolded you and said, which one is from 1998, you would, you'd be hard. It would be hard. The only thing I can hear is that, again, the Klon has some lower end mm -hmm. push, and I can't tell you why, but again, EQ differences are not tonal differences. Mm -mm. That, that is something that breaks people's brains, and it'll send people to war one day. EQ differences are not tonal differences. Honestly, and the drive I think is responding correctly. Honestly, I think people are going to end up in war over like Kroger brand Cheerios and, and regular Cheerios. I think we're on the edge. It's about to be Civil War. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's like, I'm Nabisco. I'm the other brand of crackers. And it's like, I'm Private Select. Yeah. So, <laughs> I only use organic. Kroger, we're accepting sponsorships. Really? Just throwing that out there. Yeah. You are based on uh, so, yeah, Soul Food, man. Soul Food's there. It's, yeah, it's close. Let me get it with that single coil. That's so, so stinking close on that low gain. Would you say it's closer than the sugar drive? It is closer than the sugar drive. In the low gain single coil thing, it is absolutely closer than the sugar drive. And it comes with a power supply. It's right there, and it's less than $100. Yeah, okay. The soul food has... Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Eat your words. I am eating crow, and it tastes like soul food. Mmm. All right. Red beans and rice. <laughs> Let's go. Tumnus time. Yeah, so this, I, is, this is his baby, and I am the doubter, so let's... I, I, I want this to work. I really do. Because I love Brian. I really want this to work. <laughs> I do too. You accused me of cheating. <laughs> he did cheat. I did cheat. We did. Rich, he cheated. He cheated. He cheated. I know. I had to. It's the, the noon's too dark. I don't know. <laughs> I 
still dark. You're right. You're yeah, right. You're I right. told you. You're it's right. It's like it's even. So here's where the tumness gets it. It gets the low end stuff. Yeah. It really, really gets that low end stuff, and none of the other clones with a K, none of the other clones got that low frequency thing correctly. But again, how much does that matter when we roll all the stuff off in the mix anyway? I don't know, because the rest are still freaking close, and the price tags are negligible at best in yeah. difference. So you ate soul food and I ate a goat man. <laughs> I will not cut that. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, Tom. Uh, yeah, yes. Single coils. <laughs> I think it's missing a little bit of sparkle. Yep, when we move down to the single coil, I'm not getting as much. That's interesting. Which actually, this is d predominantly where I use the Tumnus is on like a coil split humbucker. So single coil, bridge position. This is what I use my Tumnus for most, comparing it to the Klon. The Klon has a little bit more bite, but I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. It's a little bit more mellow. Yep. But it's not reaching there, so that's a difference. Um, so that's interesting, considering the Tumnus gets the high gain humbucker drive yeah. dead on. It's a little bit more mellow when you go single. That's a really interesting two-facedness usefulness to this pedal. Cool. All right. You ready for some Archer? Yep. Archer me, daddy. I'm really I'm we're pushing the we're pushing the drive pretty pretty high up there. Yeah, but we're at, I mean but we still have headroom. Like we still have more gain to go. Yeah. And it's like there. I I I'm, we're not trouble boosting as much no. as we're trouble boosting the the tumness, not not by a mile. That's a real interesting character difference. Um I think, what you think? I I, th I think it's pretty. I think it, I I don't <laughs> think it's dead on, but I think what it does how it shapes the tumna sound is really pretty, but it's not as dead on. Mm. Do you think it is? Here, here. Give me, hit me. It's tr it's a, it's it's ex accenting the trebles in a different spot. Yep. And again, EQ is not tone, so it's kind of there. But this is one case where the presence isn't punching. Yeah. 
like I expected. And that's where we're hearing a difference. Yeah. But I think the gain circuit sounds dead on. Oh, yeah. But it's not punching in it's, the same... It's, sp- it's not punching. The treble knob is moving a different, slightly different frequency place. Yeah, it, it's a very good representation of the circuit. Um, I, I don't think it's as close as others. Um, but I don't think that's altogether a bad thing. I, think I don't it's think it's a bad thing at all. Enough. Plus, if you're trying, to, if everybody's running a freaking clone on their board, or a clone on their board, this yeah, is a spe- different flavor. Yeah, especially with you and metals. You have like 16 players, and they're all tuned down to drop E, like the other one. My my eight strings in triple drop D. <laughs> <laughs> it is D A D A D G B E. That is real. <laughs> That's right, kids. Stay in school. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's single coil it. Yep. Uh... To get it there, I had to push the output yeah. quite a bit. Okay. Um, Which means think... we're probably getting some gain out of the milkman. Yeah. By overdriving it to compensate, which mm-hmm. actually is kind of a good problem. That is a good thing. That's a good problem. That's inter- That just changed my opinion on the Archer quite a bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like it, um, but actually I find it more versatile. I would use it in a tele rig before I may use a Tumnus. Because I would want, I send through an orange amp. I would rather, a t- I would rather, yeah, that's a better relationship in my opinion. Yeah, I, um, I kind of dig it. Like I was, I was, I felt like, I felt like we were kind of hating on them a little bit last week. Um, uh, I, no, we just noticed that the gold, their gold archer is definitely a lower output flavor, but it's close. But and we, and we, we also didn't drive it. That's the other thing, is everything was at noon. Everything so, was at noon, so it was like this this attempt to try to find like apples to apples, but we turned out and there were Granny Smith's, Gala's, Red Delicious, <laughs> Fuji. Get more citrus in your diet is what we're saying. I don't think apples are citrus. Then what are they? <laughs> Bananas? What? <laughs> like what is it? If an <laughs> apple is not a citrus, is it? Oh, well, citrus fruits, I guess, are their own entire category, right? Yeah, it's like an orange. It's it's something that has like a membrane around the fruit. Do you know how many apples I've eaten in the last two years? Me neither. <laughs> I <laughs> ate an apple. I ate an apple in the fall, late late summer <laughs> of twenty eighteen. It kept the doctor away. I know. I've been to the doctor <laughs> several times. I've shattered a foot. Had carpal tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> I whether it didn't it didn't take effect. An apple the, a day keeps the wrist exercises away. Yeah, maybe I should have been eating the apple like this. <laughs> you don't death grip your apple. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> trying to break the rind with your fingertips. Juice for me, damn it. Rind. What kind of apples are you eating? <laughs> I don't know. It's so late at night. What? I what don't know kind of happening. apple? Uh, yeah, again, you're you're trying to make an apple. A citrus. A rind is on a citrus. An apple has an apple, skin. I'm trying to make an apple out of a molehill, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? This is completely <laughs> off the rails. So, mm. even I am impressed that we're getting super close to OG Klon. Yeah. Four different ways, four different approaches, and four different use scenarios. And once again, the soul food is surprising me. <laughs> I... I'm... The unsung hero of both episodes has been the Milkman. <laughs> yeah. Why are we talking about how awesome the Milkman is? Yeah, so... He doesn't sell apples. I know. He doesn't sell apples. He just, no. sells, he just sells milk. Correct. So I think we have definitively proved that there are several different flavors. As there are several different flavors of apples, which are not citruses. 
because apples do not have rinds or membranes around the fruit. That would be an orange, a mandarin orange, a tangerine, a lime, a, lime, Thank you, Rich. a lemon. What's a mango? Mango would be closer to apple. Mango is closer to apple because okay. it's because the fruit is actually a meat. I think that's the difference. Because it's considered it's like it's What is happening? <laughs> I feel like I watched The Martian and him saying like that him like <laughs> making potatoes out of a bunch of different Clons sl- is like Baskin Robbins. There's a flavor for everyone. And if you've been listening and you go, ooh, that one. Get that clone. That's the. There's well, the only way you can know. And that's the thing when when we talk about petals, and this is um, this is kind of like a more ob- ob- objective kind of discussion. Is and I well, I love what Josh Scott says and some of the others in our industry. Uh, apples. <laughs> We're never gonna get this take. All right. That's it. That's okay. the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> oh, sh- I'm dead. Oh, sh- uh. <laughs> <laughs> you came in like a politician. Apple. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, we gotta get through this. <laughs> this is how the episode starts. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> We're so bad at intros. We nailed it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. So what we're saying is there are different flavors for everybody. Um, beautiful thing about the enormous amount of petals. There's the egregious amount of petals that are out there, different circuits. All the different circuits that we played a couple weeks ago, the different variants of this amazing circuit, um, it doesn't sound bad if it sounds good to you. Um, a lot of people have said it. Some, I think, are famous, but I said it, which makes it most important. <laughs> Hashtag narcissism. Yes. Yeah. Just another pedal show. Yep. Uh, so, again... Um, Love all these pieces. Uh, look forward to arguing with you about all of them because I'm sure. Rich, what's your favorite? You own a clon. What's your favorite? I like the sugar drive. He likes the sugar drive. See? It's not even. Awesome sugar on Rich. It's blue. He like he owns the clon. He's blue. This is his. This is his. Look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> what do you like? Out of the out of the lineup. Don't say the clon. We know. <laughs> no, I've like uh, the soul food. Yeah, man, the soul food. The soul food's got my eyes open, but I can't. I can't overlook that to my ear. I would have to mix that, um, and I have hearing damage. Mine still. So, in other words, you should have him master all of your <laughs> recordings. No, no. Um, uh, I, I'm still. I'm still on the tumnus. However, I have been pleasantly surprised by a huge number of pedals. Since yeah. we started recording, except five, for the butt drive, five hours ago. Yeah, um, I'm impressed at how bad the butt the butt, the butt machine <laughs> yeah. was. Gosh, uh, but I think it's kind of cool to have a thirty five dollar thing you control people with. Oh yeah, I should totally try to. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, um, so the other, I think the um, one of the amazing things that we did have the blessing to be able to use is the Milkman sound, uh, the amp. Uh, it has ran. Uh, it has been run both weeks. Everything we've done has run, been run through it. Um, out to a Pro Tools rig. I think there's a lot of warmth in it. Um, I don't see this one sticking around very long. 
Um, and uh, so, yeah, definitely come and check these out when we get them back in, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a thing. And remember, <laughs> deep in your heart, a clone is what you make it. <laughs> An apple, if it has to be. <laughs> apple. Apples. All right. Uh, we're going to try to go to bed. Correct. Right so, here and right now. Yeah, I have to be back here in a couple hours, so, you know. We love you. But I do it for my peoples. Yes. I Bye. Do it, I do it for my apples. <laughs> <laughs> go to bed, man. Oh. I don't want so far I'm headache. I know. Holy cow. <laughs> apples. <laughs> apples. Apples. <laughs> apples. <laughs>